if somebody said to you at the start of the season you're going to win the best and fairest in Port Adelaide, what, do you, what would you have said? Uh, that's a good question. I'm not sure. Um, probably especially after the first five games. <laughs> Um, I thought I was going to get dropped, so <laughs> to, to finish the season um, individually, I feel like I've grown as a player and, and probably still at a stage in my career where I'm, I'm learning so much and um, I feel like I've got a long way to go. So, um, yeah, it's obviously really nice to receive individual awards, but um, we want to be back playing finals and that's why I play footy, is, is to win. So as much as this means, um, I, I'd give it up to be in finals next year, that's for sure. Yeah. Did you actually think you were going to be dropped? <laughs> yeah, to be honest, um, every footballer, their spot's never given to them, so um, I wasn't in great form early in the season, and yeah, I guess you never know, there's always boys in the Magpies that are fight for spots as well, so. How satisfying is it for you? I mean, you had the amazing first season, and I guess you had to deal with some injuries, you know, ever since, I guess, you know, to come in actually break through, be in the midfield, you know, establish yourself as one of the most promising young players in the competition, it must be really satisfying. Yeah, I guess, um, especially with a bit of outside noise, um, you try not to listen to it, but it always it always gets in a little bit. I've got a really good support network around me, so um, I try not to listen to it too much, but it's always nice when you get in some form and are able to, um, yeah, quieten the haters a little bit. And um, Yeah, again, I feel like I've still got a long way to go, but it's um, nice to, I guess, hit some form and know um, that my potential is there. and. Um, and that if I grow a few more things, then, then I can keep growing as a player. Is it as simple as saying, you know, you got moved to the midfield to say that was behind, you know, your amazing 2022? Was there more than you had to do off the field, on the field? No, there was a lot more than, than just that, for sure. Um, I probably wasn't in a great state in terms of mentally um, not enjoying my football so much, and that probably comes with getting pumped every week for the first five games. So um, losing's not fun, and, and uh, I never want to be someone that's in a losing side, neither does anyone that plays football, so um, yeah, I guess it's it's a challenge off the field with, with your mental state and, and also getting my body right. I've had a few niggles over the last few years, so um, staying healthy and, and obviously moving into the midfield was a part of that, but um, yeah, there's a lot of things within my game that I felt like I changed and, and adapted to, to help me play better. What did you do around, did you do anything specific around that mental kind of side? So, you know, Get, um, to get you, I guess, playing your best footy? Yeah, I did a bit of work with our with our midfield coaches and um, we've got a psychologist and um, a mental visualisation coach. So there's a lot of different avenues that, um, that our club supports us with and um, and I was able to explore a lot of those and um, a lot of it was just about getting my confidence back, knowing that I am that I am a decent player. Um, yeah, and that's it's kind of hard to know when you're not in a, uh, not in a good patch of form and I guess it's comforting knowing that every player goes through periods of like that in their career. So um, yeah, I guess that'll that'll help me going forward for sure. Individually, what's the goal for you in 2023? I know as a team, it's you know you get back to finals, and all that. But individually, what's the goal for you? Oh, I don't like to to set individual accolades and that sort of thing. Um, again, like I said just before, I, I just want to keep growing my game. There's still areas where. Um, I'm not where I could be and I feel like there are things that I can focus on during pre-season, um, getting stronger and fitter, um, being better with my ball use, you know, there's so many things that I, that I can improve on to be a better player, so um, yeah, I don't know if it's in terms of winning things or that sort of thing, but um, yeah, there's lots of things that I can do. In terms of most improved aspect, what was the bit for you that was probably the most important bit for you to improve? In terms of last year? Yeah, I mean, a big part of it was being confident and, and training throughout the midfield in, in the pre-season, so um, that probably put me in a good headspace when I was able to get into the midfield to know exactly what I needed to do. Um, and I feel like I'm the type of player that is able to adapt to different positions quite well, so um, yeah, a, a massive one for me was just my confidence, and once I got that back, I was able to use my strengths a little bit more and take on the game, which is... Um, yeah, which is my strengths and, and I need to utilise them more, which I which I focus on after the first five rounds, pretty much. Was there some of those that you sort of took some of those 
some examples from that may have moved different positions? For example, Robbie Gray, who obviously moved forward midfield, people that pick their brains? Yeah, Robbie and, and, and Boki especially have been massive for my development, not only last year but over the first four years. And I spoke with Boki a lot um, over the early parts of the season and, and he helped me through. I mean, he had a patch where he went forward and um, and didn't have the sort of games that he wanted to play um, in, in terms of form. So it's nice to know that um, even the best players in the competition, you know, aren't outstanding every week. And I guess once you have that understanding, then it's easier to come back from. And you're probably going to get a bit of attention from opposition players moving forward. And you have the ball, so how do you sort of deal with that? Yeah, that's another thing that I've been focusing on during pre-season is just battling through a contest a little bit more. And um, yeah, like you said, uh, a little bit, a little bit more attention is probably going to come my way. So, um, I mean, there's lots of things that I'll, I'll need to do to adapt to that sort of thing. But um, again, Boki has been tagged many times throughout his career, so I'll be touching on him a lot.